Hey everyone, in the past videos I explained how to add constraints to the table. This video is about how to drop or how to delete the constraints. So let's take an example. So I'm going to create a table, just a simple table. ID is the primary key, name is with a unique key, age with the not null, address with the default value, salary has a check that salary is greater than 3000. Bonus has another check bonus greater than 500 and department with the constraint unique. Now in this example, I have taken the constraints with, uh, with the names, for example, this and this and the column constraints without the names. So we should know how to drop the constraints when we know the names and we, when we, we haven't given the names. So let me create the table first. Execute table creator. So now it's time to drop the constraints so first of all if you have given name to your constraint for example in on these two columns i have given name to the constraint this one and this one deletion of constraints is very easy all you have to do is just write the command alter table table name then you will add drop constraint fine so command is alter table table name drop constraint after that since you have written the constraint mode after that you will write the name of the constraint let's say i want to delete this constraint so i'll press ctrl c and ctrl v and uh, let me cut this thing from here and uh, execute and as you can see table is altered now let me show you one more example there was one more constraint with the name that was this one department u9876 so i want to delete that one u9876 and execute and done so this is how you can delete the constraints if you have given the name to your constraint now it might be possible and similarly you can you can check the previous videos on how to give name to the constraints and uh, what if if you have in for example in this case i haven't given any name to these four constraints these are just uh, are just created the rows uh, columns without any name to the constraint so how, what should be done in this case so let me comment it so that you can hmm. all right so the next one is what if we haven't given the name to the constraint so the next one is what if we have not given the name to the constraint so what should be done in that case so uh, in the case of first one is let's drop the primary key command is simple alter table table name then you will write drop primary key and click on execute table alter the primary key has been dropped so this is uh, how you can delete, delete a primary key if you haven't given name to the primary key constraint next one is uh, unique command is again same alter table table name drop and unique since primary key is only one in the table and i have to mention that which i'm talking about unique constraint on which ta uh, column and for me it was okay it was name fine so write name here in the bracket and let me execute it and table altered okay table altered so it's done moving to the next one how to delete so you can unique constraint is done and the next one is default and I told you in the case of default, since we cannot use the keyword constraint with the default, so I'll modify the value. Modify. And then default constraint was on address column and it was India. Modify address default. And if you want to give a new value, let's say the previous value was India. And I want to make it, let's say, US so this is how you can alter how you can change the default value but uh, this tutorial is about how to delete the default value so i'll give you the answer to that 
so we will just keep for the sake of reference keeping it here okay so I want to delete it so I'll write null fine so if I'm writing null that means don't insert anything there so since if the value is missing nothing will be inserted there and this is how we are deleting our default constraint let me execute it address invalid okay let me check the name of the column that was address oh a spelling sorry <laughs> my mistake and execute and table altered fine so deletion of default constraint now next one is deletion of your not null constraint and again in the case of not null you will write modify and then the name of since it was not null and we want to make it null age was not null so we'll make it null age null and click me let's click execute and table altered fine so this one is also done now the last one is your check constraint and check is check we already have deleted these check this check because uh, okay this check on bonus because it had the name and the command was simple alter table table in drop constraint and the name of the constraint what about this constraint since I haven't given any name to this constraint salary so so what should be done in this case okay alter table table name then after that you will write see if you want to check first first thing is if I write something like this check uh, it was salary 30,000 first the salary was 30,000 I want to modify it salary greater than sorry salary greater than 20,000 and let me execute it and it says that oh sorry add because it's a constraint so add add check and table alter now it seems like the value has been updated and I want to check it whether is it is it really updated so I'll insert a row and check whether all the constraints have been deleted or not insert into customers and the names were okay ID name age address ID name age address then is salary bonus salary bonus and next one is department department and then values so let's say id is one name is something sd comma age is um, 35 comma addresses um Punjab sorry so let me put it over here Punjab in quotes and next one is salary salary is let's say 50,000 bonus is 1000 and department is we have department column yeah unique department is CSE okay so let's execute this command and let me come in the previous ones and let's check whether our constraints have been dropped or not it says that um, department spellings department execute column not allowed here what's wrong with it id id name age address okay department is where care so i have to put quotes okay execute and one row created and if I click on execute again one row created and let me show you the table data select star from customers and let me comment it execute so as you can see ID was your primary key and primary key cannot be duplicated and we can get uh, since I have dropped it so drop dropping the primary key is working okay this one is working next one was unique again the name cannot be duplicated even we have dropped that even that one is working talking about age what was the constraint on age age is 
not null and what if i miss the value for age what will happen let's see i'm not providing any value for age and uh, let's say if i click on execute one no created and as you can see now i am able to insert the age values or uh, null values in the age column so this one is also working next one is dropping of null is working default default is if i don't give any default value earlier it was india and if i don't give any value because i have made null so nothing should be inserted there so let me remove address the default value and uh, by default there should be nothing because i have dropped the constraint so execute and yeah address nothing is inserted there so default is also working default done okay what about primary key done unique default null okay check constraint the earlier check was salary greater than 30,000 if I insert the salary let's say 500 and execute it says that check constraint violated okay I even I modified the salary to 20,000 will I is it modified if I mo enter let's say greater than 20,000 but less than my earlier constraint 30,000 execute again there is a violation now the thing is since I have not given the name to check constraint so I can how can I delete it command is let me comment it select uh, alter table 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 name drop constraint and as you can see they have said a check constraint this check constraint is violated so I'll just copy the name of this constraint because I haven't not created the constraint name but it is system created check constraint name so I'll just copy that oh Control C and Control V. And if I click on Execute, Drop Constraint. Alter Table Table Name. Drop Constraint. Alter Table Table Name. Drop Constraint. Missing or Invalid Constraint Name. Okay, what's wrong with it? 